so I just wanted to speak a little bit about your study into life expectancy of individuals with type 2 diabetes, myelitis in the United States. Um, I just wanted to pick your brain a little bit about why you wanted, this is a pretty broad topic that's about as broad as you can get when it comes to type 2 diabetes. Um, <laughs> why right. did you want to look further into this topic and what does this analysis tell us about life expectancy <clears throat> in people with type 2 diabetes? So there's a couple of reasons we want to do this study. So the first one is that, uh, so if you look at this uh, life expectancy documentations, they are using, um, I wouldn't say flawed approach, but a limited approach. Uh, so all the pro approach have limitations. For if some of the people, they use micro simulation model, like the paper we did, but the, the calculation algorithm inherently was using a UKPDS uh, risk equation which uh, developed based on a randomized, randomized clinical trial uh, initiated 50 years ago, 50 years ago. So they used the data back at day, that day to estimate the life expectancy of diabetes people nowadays is clearly not going to be justified with you know, the, uh, uh, accurate prediction. So, so we, we see that their estimation is kind of like over, over, underestimate of what people would, would like. But uh, that's only the one reason. The, the major reason is that if they underestimate the life expectancy, they won't be able to fully understand what is the benefit of getting your diabetes treated versus non-treated. Because if, you know, if the benefit is proportionally for people whose life expectancy can underestimate it, the benefit would get underestimated as either. So that's why this study has two aims. The first one is that we want to get an accurate uh, estimation on people's life expectancy, what people's life expectancy would look like after the diagnosis of diabetes. And then we want to further explore if we can you know, screen them timely and treat them timely and get their, their uh, blood biomarkers all under control, what additional years they can buy. So we want, to use, we want to use this paper to emphasize the importance of diabetes screening and treatment. So that is the ultimate goal of this overall paper.